I'm basically aligning my steering wheel with edge of the curb, right? If you look there, edge of the curb is aligning with my steering wheel. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do left turns with the push and pull method. In the previous video I did hand over hand, a lot of people said that, you know, hand over hand is not allowed in their country or their instructor is not teaching them that method. So I thought I'll make a video on how to do left turns with the push and pull method. So let's take a look how we do it. So here what I'm doing is I'm basically aligning my steering wheel with the with the edge of the curb, right? If you look there, right, that edge of the curb is aligning with my steering wheel. So that is when I will start turning the wheel. So I'm holding the wheel in 9-3 position and I go one and two like this and I'm gonna wait until the car looks straight and then I'm gonna slow down and start to accelerate. So I'm showing you my foot angle also so that you know you know what exactly goes on when when I am making the turn how much I'm accelerating and uh, how, when I'm using the brake so now here from a stop sign I'm going to do a left turn so I go one and two I hold it I push the gas slowly now I'm accelerating gently and I'm bringing the wheel back slowly when you're starting off as a new driver you want to go really slow you want everything slow and you want it to become your muscle memory after that you won't even have to worry about you know when to spin the wheel or how much speed to maintain when turning everything will automatically happen for you but when you start off you want to go slow so that you understand things and you let your your hands pick up the memory so here again i'm entering a curve i'm braking and i go slow one and i just had to turn it once and when the car was straight i just gently turn the wheel uh to straighten it out so i'm going to do the same thing i'm entering a curve brake turn and you go slow one two so the good thing is um you know I'm not used to this method, but what I like about this method is that you stay in control of the steering wheel. Well, a lot of people did mention in the comment section that, you know, you stay in control this way. Well, yes, definitely you do. But the only thing is, you know, where you could go wrong is what I want to show you now. Okay, so you turn one and two. What could happen is that you could straighten out here right you could panic and start to start to straighten out and you will go crashing into into a tree or whatever there is right right now it was a driveway uh, so you know the thing is you you should go slow you should wait until the car has straightened out let me show you one more time now here there's no stop sign but i'm going to assume that there is a stop sign i'm going to come to a full stop and accelerate a little bit i go one two i'm accelerating gently and well, let's see what happens so if i hold on to the steering wheel the car is gonna start to go this way but if you're going slow then you would be able to correct yourself and go back into your lane so overturning is not a problem but uh you know if if you turn you you try to straighten out the wheel too fast too quickly then you might end up going into the curb so here there's a curve and i brake a little and i go one and two and as soon as the car starts to straighten out i go one that's that that's that very straightforward very straightforward my friends it's going to come with practice turning i make it look so easy for you but when you sit in the car and you start to practice it's not going to be that easy um, i'm not trying to discourage you but that's what i have seen after teaching thousands of students so you go like this turning is the most difficult part eh? there you go that's it you want to go slow when i'm going slow i stay in control of the steering wheel hey you 
are the boss of this car. You stay in control of the car. You ha you're holding the steering wheel. You have your foot on the brake. The car does whatever you tell it to do. So don't be afraid of the car. You are in complete control. If you think the car is going too fast, take your foot out the brake or sorry, the gas. And uh, if the car is not going where you want it to go, turn the steering wheel in the direction you want to go. So you go one, two, like this, and the car straightens out, and one, and two. There you go. So my friends, this was about left turns with the push and pull method. Tell me how you like this video. If there's anything that you did not understand, let me know through the comment section below, and I will try to cover those points in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you again with another video, my friend.